Hansel and Gretel. Adaptation and activities by Lisa Suet. A woodcutter lived in a little house in the forest with his two children and their stepmother. The boy was called Hansel and the girl Gretel. The family was very poor and they didn't have enough food to eat. We're hungry. We haven't got enough food. We've got enough food for two people, but not for four. The stepmother wasn't very kind. And one evening, she had an idea. We've got enough food for two people. Tomorrow, you'll take Hansel and Gretel into the forest and leave them there. Then there will be enough food for us, said the stepmother. But they're my children. I can't leave them alone in the forest. They'll never find their way home again, said the woodcutter. The children heard their horrible stepmother. Gretel was sad and scared, but her brother had a plan. The next day, the woodcutter took Hansel and Gretel into the forest and left them there. It was dark in the forest. There were strange noises. What was that? cried Gretel. It was only an owl, said Hansel. What are we going to do now? We're lost and we haven't got any food, said Gretel. Don't worry, Gretel. I made a trail with white pebbles so we can find our way home, said Hansel. Well done, Hansel. You're great, said Gretel. Hansel was a clever boy. The trail of pebbles helped Hansel and Gretel to get back home. Hansel and Gretel arrived home but their stepmother was very angry when she saw them. Tomorrow you must take the children back to the forest, said the stepmother. Hansel heard what she said. The next morning, the stepmother called the children. She gave them a small piece of bread and the father took the children to the forest and left them there. But Hansel had another idea. He left a trail of breadcrumbs on the ground to help them find their way home. Come on, Gretel. We can follow the trail of breadcrumbs home, said Hansel. The children looked for the trail of breadcrumbs, but they couldn't find it. Oh no, the birds have eaten the breadcrumbs. What are we going to do now? asked Gretel. Don't worry, I'll look after you. Let's walk and try to find the way home, said Hansel. One of the birds flew down to Hansel and Gretel. It was a white dove and it was singing a beautiful song. The children decided to follow it. The children were walking when suddenly they saw a house. It wasn't a normal house. It was a funny little house made of sweets. Look over there, Gretel. There's a house made of sweets. Wow, it's a gingerbread house, said Gretel. The children were so hungry, they stopped and started eating pieces of the little house. Suddenly, an old woman opened the door of the house. Who's eating my house? asked the old woman. Sorry, said Hansel. We didn't know it was your house. We were very hungry, said Gretel. That's okay, children. My house is delicious. Come in, come in, said the old woman. What a wonderful, wonderful house. Made of biscuits, ice cream and cake. Lollipops and chocolate. Is it a dream? Rub your tummy, yummy and scrummy.
So Hansel and Gretel went inside the little house. The old woman gave Hansel and Gretel a big dinner. The old woman seemed kind, but Hansel and Gretel didn't know that the old woman was really a wicked witch and she had a wicked plan. I'll give the boy lots to eat, then he'll be big and fat and I'll eat him. I'm a wicked witch, can't you see? I'm a wicked witch, can't you see? Being wicked is lots of fun, I'm a wicked witch. Being wicked is lots of fun, I'm a wicked witch. Yes, that's me. I'm hungry, I'm hungry, can't you see? I'll give you food. Then eat you up One, two, three Luckily, Gretel heard the old woman. She told Hansel about the witch's plan. The next day, the old witch put Hansel in a cage. Gretel had to cook lots of food for Hansel. The witch wanted a fat Hansel. But Gretel was clever. She had a plan too. Gretel gave her brother a little old bone to use instead of his finger when the witch came to feel if he was fat. The old witch could not see very well so she thought Hansel was still too thin. One day, the witch couldn't wait any longer. She wanted to eat Hansel. Fat or not, Hansel will be my dinner. I'm going to cook that boy fat or thin, said the witch. But the oven isn't hot, said Gretel. Let me see, said the witch as she opened the oven door. Quickly, Gretel pushed the witch in the oven and closed the door. Ah! Then she opened the cage and Hansel was free. Hansel and Gretel looked around the house and found a big treasure chest full of gold coins and jewels. They filled their pockets. Hansel and Gretel ran into the forest. And can you guess who was looking for them? Yes, the children's father. He found them and took them home. Hansel and Gretel gave their father the gold coins and jewels. Your stepmother has gone away. Now we aren't poor and we can be happy together, said the woodcutter. <laughs>